Hi, Mark Savage here. You may be asking where I've been in here. What's today's chat about? Well, not me relaxing in my hot tub. Triumph Tiger service. Full service today, oil change, filter, and plugs. No, I've not worked on one before. How difficult can it be? Let's find out. Bubbles, please. Ah. Well, that was a different start, wasn't it? Gloves are on, cut the tea. It's been a while so I cut the tea and do some work. Mm. After I cut the tea. Right. Tiger Triumph 800. This little baby, what are we doing today? A high flow, hip flow filter. Do you know, I looked at the um, Can M one, to be honest with you, they look pretty much the same. Probably not washable, but fraction of the price. Still do 4,000 miles. Job done there. So, we're doing the filter today. Oil, your choice. I go for semi synthetic. And another hip flow filter again. This is the old HF204. Pretty standard. I think I've got a couple of these anyway. But cheapest chips. But I have gone for Iridium plugs. Um, a little bit better for burn, a um, bit more power and so on, but I actually like them. And they last longer as well. Very few tools, Allen key, screwdriver, seat up, tank off, drain the oil, off the filter. Really, really simple. Well worth doing and you save so much money. Now I'm gonna use my kit. I've used this several times now, so it's paid for itself. It was very easy to get to. So all you do is just pick one, pop it on, although I may have to take the belly pan off. I think I'll take the belly pan off because under here must be the oil drain as well. So that'll be the first one to come off. And while it's off, I'll give it a clean. As for here, a few Allen bolts here. See, probably bolt under here as well. A few more Allen bits and bobs. And that should all come off plugs air filter should be under here and we're going to check the water while we're here as well top that vanity freeze if it's dirty take it out Twenty thousand miles yeah we'll have a look when we get there so triumph in their evilness put nuts on the back of these that spin round so you have to sort of get another screwdriver um to push it hold it or a span at the back of it sod it so good old faithful these are good but it's a bit of a Bit of a job to get your little grip grips in there and turn it. But, at the end of the day, it will work. And it's an Allen key in here for the oil. So I can do it without taking the belly pan off. And there we go, there's the oil and a rag. Yes, it's been lazy. I cannot deny that. <laughs> But I'm taking all the top off. I just can't be bothered. An oil change is an oil change and a filter is a filter. So, good old handy ones. Nice clean one of these. Now, a little handy tip which I've done before. I know you know it. Get your oil, little bit of your finger, rub it around here, and then pop it on really, really hand tight, okay? As maximum tight as you can get it. You don't need to clamp it on with these, all right? So as tight as your hand tight can get it, and that'll be as good as gold. Once all the oil's out, filter's off. I want to be on the top while it's draining out, so we'll get every little bit of oil out of there. Right, let's get this off, start the top. Triumph, you are well naughty. Come on. <laughs> 10 minutes now. I didn't bother showing you because it just went on and on and on. The amount of little bolts you have to take out. And I'm talking about four panels just on this side alone to get to one side of the tank so you can get the bolt off. All these panels have to come off. All these panels have to come off just to be able to get to this part of the tank where the bolt for the tank is here. I can see it's got a lift up mechanism. But would you expect to have to do this? Panel, 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 and inside here to get this panel off. Really, look, just bolts everywhere. Try and keep them together. There is a lot of bolts there. Don't lose them. And I'm gonna put, obviously, left hand here. And I'll put the right hand over here. I'm guessing this is why you pay so much in labor when you go and get your bike serviced. It is only my time, remember? 
and when you do it, your time. Air box is here, back of the tank. So that should be easy to get to. And hopefully I get the tank off, plug should be easy to get to. I did think whether I could get to we are to get some under here, but I wasn't going to try and get them up. No, let's get the tank off, do it properly. Right, let's fast forward a little bit and get the other side off. Believe you me when I say that's an awful lot of panels to get. These two bolts come out, all this look comes off, and you slowly wiggle it back. And now I can get underneath, and there's a couple of air pipes here that can wiggle off. There are turns, should they go back the same way. Just going to check under here now and see whether or not oh, my reservoir for water. Any other little bits and bobs under there? There's probably going to be a connector. These, I guess, should have come off, but do you know what? I couldn't find any more nuts and bolts. I didn't want to pull and start snapping things. Unlike Kawasaki's, where you get a slide on or Suzuki's pop on, these are all bolts. So, yeah, be careful. So that's 20 minutes work to get one side off and the other side off. And an awful lot of bolts. And this is what you end up with. So I've just taken these two off. Under there. And I would rather have took these, but I say I can't see uh, some other bolts. In there, I guess. So they'd have to come off as well. If I can get away about taking these off, um, I'm gonna leave them on. <laughs> come on, how much more do you not wanna take off? Right, get this up and let's show the air filter and the plugs. Now I don't know if you remember these in my last video. I needed these in here. There's two connectors on this tank and there's the fuel pipe. Now on Kawasaki's there's a push one here. This one's got a clamp on it. And then you've got to try and squeeze. Meanwhile you can't get it back, you can't get it forward. It's a bit of a bugger. So these came in handy again. Otherwise you've got to try and really pinch it. However, this should be, there you go. One very heavy petrol tank because I was. You know, I have said this before. <laughs> try not to fill your petrol tank up. Now I wasn't expecting the plugs to come so quickly, which they did. So anyway, here's the little connector bit I'm talking about. You needed to push these two bits in. A little bit of petrol, and there's a little um, clip over it that's on the tank still. So that you have to push that off, and then try and get these two bits pushed in. It also comes with these two little connectors, and these you can just squeeze down and squeeze down. It's a bit of a fumble to find these little bits, but you can do. So, here we are. And there we have a nice easy job. A bit of petrol still. One, two, three plugs. You'd never got them underneath. Airbox and the water. So, let's get a bit of petrol smell. So, let's get the plugs out, airbox off and look at the water as well. And uh, let's show you what it looked like. As I said, done about 4,000 miles. My, my clock now says 2,500, and it was last done at 16 and a half. So perfect timing to be honest with you. And uh, I'll give the chain a look at and spruce up as well. That's a lot of panels to get off, isn't it? Nice and easy. Take off the connector off of there. Take off that one and all of these. Again, they do like using lots of bolts. And then just pop that off. There you have your carbs. <laughs> what the hell? More. Okay, that's silly. They even held it in with more bolts, even though it's already underneath there. God. Anyway, got one plug out. Again, disconnect it. Pull that out. Nice and easy. And there was a sparky plug. Um, not a bad burn. Been in there some time though. Replacing with iridium. You can see the difference. Okay, I know it's got two electroids, but look at the electroid there, really, really skinny. So we should get a much better spark. A bit more bang for my buck, as they say. Right, two more plugs to get out. I've got to figure out how to get them out, Nick. And the nice new shiny one can go in there. So, don't do them, they're just extras. Two Phillips screws in there, and it comes out. Wow. That has been there for some time, so I'm assuming the last service would have been just an instrument service. Um, this nice little cover, well, it won't go on my one, so, 
they will just plop in there basically. Job done. But was dirty. So oil, plug, and filter all needed doing. Let's change them all over. Let's start getting it all back together again, which will take some time. It's all in triumph. Didn't want you to do this yourself. <laughs> My only top tip is we take panels off, bolts with the items you take off. And the same again, left and right. Don't put them tub, because, well, I know they're all the same size, but some are worn from the outside and some have got grainy from the inside and so on. Just keep the panels with the originals. And that, that is rubbish, isn't it? You know, honestly, were they in the garage in Triumph going, yeah, Bartholomew, we've got 30,000 bolts left over. What do we do with them? I know, let's use them all on one bike. My God, that's marvellous. Gee, you didn't need that many bolts there. Didn't take that one off, but I took it off anyway. They're all back in there. That's nicely down. Just getting the last plug out now. And should be coming out. And there we go. That's your three plugs. Nice coffee colour, good burn, ready to be changed though. Nice and shiny. Iridium plugs times three. Really easy. One little note, when we were fitting the air filter, wasn't quite a perfect fit. Um, did them two screws and it flapped up a little bit at the back, but the case does push it down. Just behind there though, there was a tiny little like waste filter. Um, it's a sponge. Take that out, give it a wipe, a little bit of oily water normally on there, and then wipe out inside there, make sure the pipe's not blocked. It's natural for your bike to have a little bit of oil there that gets a bit of water there and congeals and that's what it's for. So give that a good clean as well. It's only in the bottom of the box here. Anyway, three plugs back in and then put the old coils back on there. And then the tank goes back on and all the panels go back on. Must check the water next. Not bad, but a big job, isn't it? You know, of all the little panels. But say, what else should we do? Sit and watch some television? Well worth doing. All the plugs are back in, <laughs> even seasoned like me. These little bits, they go on the spark plug. Do you know, they didn't have them. The new ones did, popped them all in, tried to get the caps on and thought, wait a minute. And then I looked at the box and found they were like that. So we all can make silly little mistakes. So I'm leading on to now. There's an old saying, measure twice, cut once. Same realistic fish, you're not cutting wood. Check everything twice, okay? Make sure all the bolts are there, make sure all the pipes are in the right place, make sure all packs are down properly, make sure you've connected all three in the right place, make sure all the pipes you need to put on this one and the other two are ready to connect when you put the tank on and these two for the pipes are laid the same way. Make sure everything is back to where it was, okay? Because otherwise you put it all back on again and you've missed something off, it's just taking it all off again, isn't it? And that would drive you mad. So, now I'm going to do the oil. Filter's back on. Refill with oil. Check the water. It's only a tiny bit down, so I put a bit of nice, fresh antifreeze in there. Um, it's quite a good colour as well, so I'm happy with that. Um, fresh oil in it. Tank back on. And then, we'll see if she starts. That's the fun part. Um, the whole part is getting all the bloody panels back on because there's so many of them. Anyway, there you go. Believe you me, what feels like several hours later, um, got most of the panels back on, just the one side, this left to go back on. Tank bag was a bit of a bug because I had to unstrap that. Um, but all the screws are going back in, as I said, remember where you got them from. Don't worry if you put that back and you've got to take it off again because you've missed the panel there or whatever, but make sure you plug in your indicators as well and test them, which I've done. So, just getting this one back in, which is a few little bugger screws in here, and I'm getting onto the other side, but it's coming along. As you can see, it's all back down again, looking like a 800 Tiger. All straps I was talking about, they actually go under here, through this little bit, but anyway, they're all back down nicely. Just them, 
I'm just going to go back on here. Do not end up with any extra screws you shouldn't have. Double check, make sure they're tight. Remember, motorbikes vibrate a lot, so make sure these are tight, okay? I don't mean like socket tight, make sure they're pretty well in there. Let's get this bit in, let's get the other side on. We are coming along. Okay then, well over three and a half litres later, for some reason I thought about three litres odd, but it's nearly four litres of oil in this thing. Um, so I've topped it to where it should be. I know when I start it, it's got to fill the filter and some will stay in there, so you always have to recheck it after the first start. So plugs, air filter, oil, oil filter, all done. It's all back together. Oh my God, these four bolts in the side here, absolute hell to tighten up. They just don't seem to match up. So yeah, if you get that, I feel your pain. Everything else is back on, first start. Well, here we go. Clutch in, fingers crossed. <laughs> As you know I ride this every day and have done for several months now. The throttle feels very responsive. Um, I know it's only ticking over in here but before I've got a little bit of lag. There's no more lag so it needed a service. I'm going to recheck the oil then go for a nice little ride, check it again, job done. And there we go. Uh, I'd like to say nice and simple but so many bolts and really is a bit of a jigsaw puzzle. So if you're going to do it yourself I would take pictures, still pictures, of where the panels are and then make sure you separate all the bolts where they're gonna go. When you put it back on, you may need that for reference because, yeah, I put one panel on and thought, which way did it go? You know, I fumbled through because I've done it many times before. And I said in the beginning, yeah, in the hot tub, um, I hadn't done one before, how can it be? I put a curse on it, didn't I? However, job done, it's running, and I'm happy. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. There's some around the outside you might want to watch. Check out my videos, 430-ish now, a few more than that now, on cars, bikes, tattooing, you name it, it's on there. Always something to watch. Um, and again, you take care of yourselves on the road, whatever you're driving or riding. Well, that was a different start, wasn't it? Gloves are on, cut of tea. It's been a while since I had a cup of tea while doing them one of Oil, your choice, and again, nice hip flow, high flow. <sighs> Oil, your choice. I go for sending it. Nice, clean one of these. Now, little handy tip which I've done before when taking this off, and it's a little bit smaller than the middle kestrel one. A bit of the fresh oil, not the old oil. More Allen keys. How difficult can it be? Let's find out. Bubbles, please. Ah. Are we doing it? You take care of yourselves on the road, whatever you're driving or riding. <laughs>